My name is Mahmoud Masaili. I'm the co-editor of the book uh, on Canada and challenges of international development and globalization. The book is edited by myself and Professor Lachlan Munro, who was the former director of the School of International Development and Globalization. The idea of creating this book goes back to 2012, when I was supposed to teach a single course under the same title, Canada and Challenges of International Development and Globalization. That was a new course created by the school. So I was thinking about the content of the course. What should I do? I look at different books and resources and notice that there's no uh, book at all around the whole title of Canada and what Canadians indeed are doing abroad in the area of international development and globalization. So I prepared a course back and after teaching of the first year, it came to my mind to produce a book, a textbook for this course. So the book that I'm presenting right now is coming out of that motivation that I started from 2012. The book, uh, the book consists of uh, around 25 chapters, 14 long chapters and 11 case studies. The content of the book is essentially beyond the usual talk about aid, international assistance, or peacemaking. What we're going to do, or what we did indeed in this book, is a full review and a deep analysis of the role that Canada plays, has been playing, either negatively or positively in the international sphere. So the book covers topics such as, for example, Canadian diplomacy abroad, Canadian military involvement abroad, Canadian scientific uh, cooperation, diplomacy, human rights, how to deal with fragile states, etc., etc. The book has been prepared for the first year and the second year uh, students and can be used for international relations, international development, political science, globalization, public policy and for also those who are interested in ethics. I want to say that normally the general audience are the students, the undergrad students, either at the U Ottawa or at the other universities uh, across Canada, everywhere. Also the book might be of interest of the general people, the public, those who are interested to know what Canadians are doing abroad. 